Welcome to Sapienza. Our morally ambiguous but unfathomably satisfying line of work has taken us from one city of romance to another, as now we brush away the musk of Paris and replace it with the aromas of the Italian coast. We've got beaches to see, historical sites to visit, a bustling market district to procure, even local delicacies to sample, such as hand-pressed cappuccinos, aged meat and sausages, and of course, Sapiens' most famous delicacy of all. Zombie cancer! What? Yes, along with the addition of a better view from our hotel room, we also have the addition of another target this time round, in the form of this little bugger right here! Behold! The end of our world as we know it! And the start of the zombie apocalypse! Or something like that. Gee, it would certainly be a shame if something were to happen to it. Oh wait, that's why we're here! <laughs> the virus, so to speak, has by far the most protection of nearly any target I've ever encountered. It literally lives inside some James Bond villain evil cave lair, where it is surrounded by scientists in lab coats, scientists in hazmat suits, and scientists with guns! Okay, maybe those aren't actually scientists. But either way, this little guy has more protection than a German sex shop, so getting in and destroying our little friends certainly won't be easy. The cave itself has quite a surprising collection of hidden entrances. Unfortunately, all of these entrances require a key card to get past. One or two of them has guard detail, and a few have security cameras posted to them. So in order to get in here and finish our objective with any form of actual efficiency, or... Uh, subtlety... We're going to need one of those handy dandy key cards in a disguise. Oh, silly me! I've prattled on about the baby so much I forgot to talk about the parents! Or the father and the nanny, to be more precise. Meet Daddy Silvio Caruso! Silvio is the neurotic yet ingenious bioengineer with mommy issues that created our little bun in the oven of death. Like any great scientific mind these days, or most people, really, he never leaves the house. Which, normally, I would say is a good thing, but considering the house is the size of a small city, I'd say that's less good! Silvio always has protection around him, even when he's doing the mundane tasks in life, like eating pasta, taking golf lessons, or continuing his work on the world's deadliest supervirus. Fortunately, yeah, we can use his somewhat fragile mind to our advantage. They aren't easy to figure out, but there are a few ways we can bend his mind a little to get him alone and exactly where we need him. Once the daddy and the baby are out of the way, that just leaves the nanny! To say the least, when you're as smart of a cookie yet mentally unstable as Silvio is, one might not necessarily want to trust billions of dollars in the fate of the world solely in your hands, which is where Miss Francesca De Santis comes in. Apparently, the company that funds Silvio are just a little bit nervous about a guy with hair like this wielding potentially the world's deadliest weapon ever made. So, Mr. Santos is here to supervise him and possibly even take over his work should anything happen to him. But we can't have that now, can we? Fortunately, unlike Silvio, Miss DeSantis is quite the busy bee and travels around quite frequently without as much protection as Silvio has. When she's not on the phone with her boss, she can be found making paper airplanes in her office, taking notes in the lab, or even meeting up with private eyes in the middle of town. Though she does have a bodyguard and likes to stick to populated areas, she can be quite easily isolated in a number of ways, which is why we're leaving the easiest for last. I mean, who doesn't like easy women, right? <laughs> you will need lockpick! That's pretty much it. Seriously, if you really need loose change, it's all over the place here, from dip jars to water fountains. And the way we kill our targets won't require any garroting this time, so take whatever else you want. Just be sure to bring the lockpick with you. Though loose change is abundant, so is locked doors. And having one will make our lives a hell of a lot easier getting around. <laughs> oh man! Oh, that Garfield never ceases to cheer me up. <laughs> Even in Italian. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing again? All right, kill two people in the zombie rage virus. Got it. Mission start! For 
First and foremost, we mustn't forget, when in Rome, do as Romans do. And by God, before the Roman Catholics kill people, they always get their penance first, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Just run down the street a long ways until you encounter the church at the end of the road. Make your way inside and over to the confession booth and... Uh, oh my. Father, it has been seven hours since my last confession. Oh dear child, seven hours isn't hardly any time at all. I'm sure you're fine. I've killed a man. What? Uh, uh, on second thought, the priest sounds a bit busy. If you stand around here long enough, you'll find out that Dr. What's-Her-Face here has accidentally killed her lab partner in a baking soda volcano accident. And she's come here to say goodbye to the body which is being kept next door. Well, I guess we should say our goodbyes while she's occupied. Exit out the side door and make use of our hamburg dandy lockpick to break our way into the funeral home. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew thee well! Wait a minute, you're not Yorick! Damn! I knew I must have taken that wrong turn at Verona. Oh well, I'm going to take a nap. Just lie here for a while, daydreaming of fresh-baked snickerdoodles and explosions until the good doctor comes in here to pay her respects. Wait till she issues away the bodyguard and help her with her mourning the only way I know how. Stop mourning! He didn't like you anyway! Good night! Give her a little break from the hot Italian air by stuffing her into the freezer and picking up her super convenient USB dongle. Fortunate for us, Dr. Whatserface here, consumed with grief, created a kill switch program on this thingy, which can kill target number one. So let's honor her intentions by taking her things and stripping down her deceased friend and donning his clothes for ourselves. Lockpick the door and head on out. Praise be to God! I am alive again! It's a miracle! I will dedicate my life to a higher purpose! <laughs> like killing people. Uh, um, uh, run down the church stairs, jog along the Italian sand with our newfound beach shoes, then follow along this stone path until you find a fence with a suspiciously man-sized gap in it. All right, this sightseeing trail is not OSHA compliant. I'm going to formally submit a complaint. Keep traveling along what looks like to be this very safe, slippery, wet rock path until you encounter a door clearly marked, Enter me, free candy inside in Italian. Just use your newly acquired key card to enter it. E gods, they've seen our face. Don't panic, I know exactly what to do. Run down this hallway and take a left. Walk past the stairs and loop into this building here to find none other than the security computer. Don't worry, I know exactly how to destroy these things. See, download? Bonzi buddy. <laughs> Works every time. Exit this little shack the same way you came in and move your way up the stairs we ignored earlier. Keep your eye on the scientist up here as we carefully upload our little virus to, well, the virus. Oh, God, what have I done? My actions have sounded the red alarm and I've halted the flow of progress. Anyway, uh, crawl up the piping here like any normal scientist, then travel to the right and make your way up this set of stairs. Use your key card at the door here and then run all the way up this staircase, out onto this balcony, through this door, and then all the way up to the top of the observatory to acquire an ancient, mystical piece of technology known as a VHS tape. This should provide the distraction we need to off good old Silvio. But first, let's make our way down the staircase we just climbed until we're about here. If Silvio is still in his laboratory, we can make ample use of our time by getting a gift for Miss DeSantis. Walk through the door and keep this room in mind. We'll be using it for some sexy DeSantis hijinks later. But for now, make your way to the other side of the grounds where you'll find... Ah! Uh, well, howdy there, Miss DeSantis! Yes, you, uh... You go away now. We'll, we'll talk to you later. Just not now. Uh -huh. So, uh... Once the coast is clear, uh, walk on in and just pick up some of the rat poison one of the staff clearly misplaced here. Ah, uh, yes. With poison in hand, walk on back to the room from before, enter the stairwell, and wait for Silvio to leave his workstation if he hasn't already. Don't worry, our VHS tape trick will bring him running back rather quickly. 
Once Silvio has left the area, head on inside and check out how swanky this place is. Man, look at these old ritual knives. Wow, amputation knife? Badass. Ooh, and what's this? Ah, circumcision knife. Much more embarrassing. I'll take it. Walk on over here to this device known as a VHS player and play the tape. Once we've got our trap set, move on back and try on these awesome threads and wait. You know, something tells me this won't be the last time I wear a creepy psycho mask. Don't know why, just got that feeling. All right, what the hell is going on in here? If y'all are watching porn, that's my shit! I had that hidden! Wait a minute, what the fuck is this? Wait a minute. This looks familiar. No, 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 we let this out early. I had this hidden in my safe in the back. There's no way. Who would take out my uncut Space Jam slammed and jam? I was about to let out the new memes. This was supposed to be the end of the world! Which one of you schmucks put this on? Hey boss, don't look at me. I've been with you the entire time. Yeah, same over here, boss. You two yutzes didn't do it, then who did? I don't know, maybe it was Tommy. It's not like a ghost or something. Shut up! I need to be alone. Leave, now! Okay, whatever you say, boss. We'll be right outside! Idiots. These fools. What will I do? I only have like 300 sweaters. I'm not ready for this shit. <laughs> Alas, Silvio is gone, Leo. Oh no! Just drag his corpse over to this old cabinet and stuff him in there. Then replace our cool new threads with something a little bit more, um, in fashion. There. There is a time to set fashion trends, but I'm afraid that day is not today. Uh, walk outside and run along this balcony, and then reach this cliff face! See this guy here? He's Silvio's golf instructor. Which, now that Silvio is dead, you wouldn't think would be of any use to us. But little did Silvio know that the golf instructor here... <laughs> well, let's say the golf course isn't the only thing he's getting a perfect hole-in-one with. So, we're going to need his fancy hat and his phone. Taking this guy out can be tricky, so proper timing is key. Wait by this corner, then wait for Mr. Tiger Wood here to pass you, take his drink by the pool, then head back, and on his way past you, induce some nap time. Hope no one sees you, quickly stuff him in this bin, take his clothes, and grab his food. Now we just have to get Mr. Santos alone. Me want sex. Your room. Now. Oh, Roberto. I would love to, but between Silvio and work, I'm not sure if it's the best idea. I have booze. I'll be there in five minutes. Ah, the phantom charm never fails. Well, you heard the lady. Back to the room. Chop, chop, chop. It's sexy time. Head back into the room from before. Give Mistress DeSantis' drink a good old spike of some of that special seasoning we picked up earlier, and relax back into the chair in the dark corner of the room. <laughs> We're going to be in for some good times tonight. I like you, Roberto. You're a lot of fun, and I could even see this in, uh, uh, under the right circumstances. <laughs> now, my bosses, they... <coughs> they say you are a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto, where did you get that bottle? Kmart? <laughs> oh god. I I've got to find a toilet. Uh does does this mean we're not having sex? Hello? Honey? Honey, how you doing over there? You doing okay? Does the- 
I assume you're not doing okay. Hey, what's going on? Are you okay? I d oh, not all over the toilet seat. Come on, at least put it up. Look, you're, you're gonna make a mess from up here. You gotta get closer to the bowl. Here, let me show you. Get down. Yep, there you go. Much better. There, now, now you won't make a mess. There. I'm sure you're feeling better already. That's right, let it all out. All right. Problem solved. Damn it, why do all my dates end like this? Stuff Miss DeSantis into the cupboard here and climb through the window and head on outside the gates to the car! Hey, look at that! The parking meter ran out! I guess the parking meter wasn't the only thing out of time. <laughs> Mission accomplished! <laughs>